Hi, I'll be covering <clears throat> the Leo general reading from March the 1st to March the 7th. Take what resonate and leave the rest. I will not be doing no reversals for right now. I'm just going to do all general reads from March the 1st to March the 7th. When I do reversals, I only would be doing them if it's necessary. Like if like so many cards is reversed, then they really meant for you. But if it's like one or two cards reversed, I won't be doing reversals. Because sometimes the cards could just end like that. Or sometimes the universe make it like that for you to talk to them about their reading the other way. So if it's more than two cards, then yeah, I'm going to do reversals. But if it's only like one or two, even maybe three, I might not do reversals. It depends how long your reading is. But for right now, I'm not doing no reversals. Maybe, like, it depends on how you read and go. Then I have to do the reversal. That's how I'm going to do it. So, I want to take us, take what resonate. We're going to leave the rest. I'm only doing one oracle. I'm not doing no love with none of my other cards. My new tarot cards have arrived, but... I'm not using them right now. I probably might not open them to spring. Who knows? Because I'm about to get me some more cards so I could be like all the way up. Because I got a lot of readings to do tomorrow for people. And I got two spiritual readings to do Friday morning. So I will be busy starting from tomorrow. Honestly, to like. Late night Friday. And then I want to relax where I'm going to relax at. And what I'm going to do. I'm not putting too much of what, what I'm doing or nothing. Because people be on me and stalking, I call it. I don't like that shit. So, I'm going to be busy. I'll make time for who I want to make time for, though. But without further delay, Universe Spirit Guides. Bless over these cards. Bless over the reading. Universe, Spirit, God, Holy Spirit. Universe, Spirit, God, Holy Spirit. Please clarify for my Leos what my Leos need to know from March the 1st to the 7th, 2020. What do my Leos need to know? Please clarify what my Leos need to know. That's crazy. They all came out, yo. Well. Came out to reverse, but they kind of mean the same thing, so. All right. So I could just start from the gate. The first card that came out for your past is the page of swords. The page of swords indicate trouble with the police or somebody spying on you or, or perhaps the cops are spying on you or maybe somebody spying on you and you don't know. Also, you got the queen of rods. This is somebody that makes something happen. Maybe this could be in the queen status or maybe you mess with a woman that could make something happen. It could go either way. You also got the star. You hoping and wishing for something. In your present, you got the nine of rods. You're a wounded warrior, perhaps that you feel bound up. You got the queen of swords. Maybe you're cutting through some bullshit with somebody. You got the knight of pentacles. This is a slow, smoothing card, but basically maybe you want to offer somebody a pentacle or perhaps somebody want to offer you a pentacle. You also got in the future the hair fight, which this is the Taurus energy. This is somebody you go to basically when you have trouble or as you see twins here this could represent twin friends um some situation like that you got the nine of swords that's basically um anxiety nightmares can't sleep depression this this is your future you also got the fool card basically you taking the leap of faith the leap of faith as something so we going to go ahead to the star and we going to see why the star is here damn they came straight out Damn, a lot of cards, but I usually take them the way I take them. So, you got the nine of pentacles. Basically, you live in lovely. This was your past. 
Somebody want to offer you some friendship or this could be a slippery fish. You also got the eight of pentacles. You here smiling because your pentacles is rising. And then you're going to get justice in the situation. So perhaps all this happened in the past. So we're going to go ahead and clarify the Knight of Pentacles. Universe, Spirit, Guides, Holy Spirits, please clarify the Leo reading for March the 1st to the 7th. What do you have to tell the Leos? You got the Emperor. This is an Aries card. Maybe you dealing with an Aries or this also symbolize somebody that only worry about material wealth and they got a lot of material and their money is right. This is in your present. You also got the judgment card. You're going to get judgment in everything you do. So this could represent basically um, maybe it's something that you did and you worry about getting judged for it. You also got the world of fortune, which means things go in cycles and good luck coming to you. This is what this means. This is in your present. You also got the five of, co five of um, coins, which we know what this means. What this is good luck, but somebody is maybe upset because you left them out in the cold while you getting good luck. So I'm not really sure, but the five of pentacles represents somebody left in the cold. Somebody left you in the cold or you left somebody in the cold. And perhaps I feel you left somebody in the cold, so I don't know why. I'm going to clarify the five of pentacles. Universe, spirit guide, holy spirits, please clarify for my Leos the five of pentacles. Maybe you could left your family out in the cold. Somebody feel up, feels though, damn, these cards flipped out, that you left them out on the Wait a minute. Yeah, you left them out in the cold. This could be a family member. You you see how that look? He young, the mom, maybe you left mom and dad or grandma or aunt, uncle. Somebody may feel like you left them in the cold because you got pinnacles perhaps. And yeah, you got material wealth, so maybe somebody jealous in your family or something about it. But you got the ten of rods, which means you got a lot on your plate right now. Then you got the two of pentacles. You could be juggling somebody or you juggling a situation, but you maintain the balance. You also got the eight of cups, whereas though your emotions in check and you're not worrying about the past. All you're worrying about is the future. So I don't know for right now who could be the one. I'm going to clarify the eight of cups. Universe, spirit guides. Oh. Damn, what well, came out? You got the Ten of Pentacles. You got everything you want. Your Pentacles is right, family in order, love life right. This is what your present is. I'm going to clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Maybe that's why somebody feels though you left them in the cold because your Pentacles right and maybe there's not. I don't know. Universe, Spirit, guides, Holy Spirits, Holy Angels, please clarify the Ten of Pentacles. You got the magician to make everything happen. So maybe somebody mad because you could, you make a shit happen and they not. Who knows? Somebody maybe in your family could be a close friend. Not sure. I'm going to your future. Universe, spirit, God, please clarify the fool card for the Aries. Sorry. Mm. Leos. That's crazy. That fell out. What chance did the fool take? Please clarify the full card for the Leos. What chance did they take? Ace of Cups. This is from the universe giving you everything you need. Birth of an idea, birth of a new plan, birth of a new relationship, birth of couples. You also got the Queen of Pentacles. This also will represent Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. You could be dealing with one of them. And this is somebody that lives pretty, got all their coins together. Maybe it's an earthly woman in your life that's all together. Or maybe you want to get with somebody that's a queen of pentacles. I'm going to clarify the queen of pentacles. Universe, spirit guide, holy spirit. Please clarify the queen of pentacles. The queen of pentacles for my Leos. Why is the queen of pentacles here? Please clarify. They flipped over like that. Make sure ain't none else over. I give them to you. This is somebody in your past. Maybe you rem reminiscing about somebody in your past. Maybe it's a queen of pentacles for you from your past that you're thinking about. You also got confusion. Maybe you can't go back to the past because it could cause confusion. But also you got the third, the three of swords. So maybe somebody hurt you. Maybe somebody hurt you in a way that nobody know about. Or maybe you got a third party situation going on. And that's why this confusion is going on. 
but you are thinking about somebody in past. You're reminiscing about somebody in past, and it's probably this Queen of Pentacles. But maybe you can't deal deal with the somebody in your past because of the brain confusion and third party situations. But it's a third party situation going on. I'm gonna clarify the three of swords for your future. Universe, spirit, guys, Holy Spirit. Please clarify the three of swords. Why the three of swords here? Please clarify the three of swords. Why the three of swords here? Please clarify the temperance prayer. Universe, and this is for your future. Universe, spirit, God, Holy Spirit. Please clarify the temperance card. Please clarify the temperance. Why the temperance here? Why the temperance here for my Leos? Please clarify the temperance. Why the temperance is here? Seven of Rods. You going up against people coming up against you. And this is my card where I say, fuck out of here, fuck out of here, fuck out of here. Basically, people coming up against you and you standing strong. Let me see. Universe, spirit, God, please clarify the seven of rods. Why is the seven of rods here for my Leos? Why the seven of rods here? Tell me why the seven of rods here. Why is the seven of rods here for my Leos? Why the seven of rods here? Please clarify the seven of rods. Please clarify the seven of rods. Why the seven of rods here? Well, they come out like that. Six of pentacles. You trying to balance and juggle somebody. Third party situation. Eight of swords. Somebody fell bound or somebody blind and don't see everything that's going on. You got the knight of rods. Somebody's making something happen, but they slow moving. You got the uh, seven of cups which represent choices and confusion. Then you got the seven of pentacles. You sit and thinking about how to make more money, but this is a card where don't be careful of what you do because it could come back to bite you. Then you got the three of cups. This represents third party situation. So the reason why you get under this stress right here and all this going on, and you got these choices you think and bound up and you juggling and people coming at you because you got three third party situations. You got victory at the bottom of the deck, but that's not what's coming out. Universe, spirit guys, please clarify for my Leo's the three of cups. Why is the three of cups here? Why is the three of cups here for Leo's for March the 1st to the 7th? That's too many cards. Why the three of cups here for March the 1st to the 7th? Why is this here for the Leo's? Why is this here for the Leo's? Look what y'all got. Fast moving the chariot. You got to move fast in the situation. You got the ten of swords, which is a painful ending. You got the king of cups, which you making something happen and trying to offer somebody a cup of emotion. And you got some addictions that you could be addicted to. This is the Cap Capricorn card completely. But this represents addictions. Addictions could be of smoke and drink and sex. Different women. You got the devil card in Jerian. I'm going to see why the devil card is here. Wow. Look at that. Future. A lost. And then you got the death card. It could indicate a loss of a life, a loss of a job, a loss of money, a loss of friendship. But this is no way coming back, no shape or form. This is the death card. And that injury with the devil card. So something ain't right. So maybe you got to refocus your life, yeah? I'm going to see what the universe got to say to you about this card. Universe, spirit guides, holy angels, please clarify for the Leos what they need to know for March the 1st. See, the death card and the five of cups means lost together of lives. This is what these two cards can mean. And then you got the Ten of Swords is a painful ending. So with this card, you need prayer. This could be a person directly. I don't, I'm not going to sugarcoat it because that's not what I do. But you got three losses here. Painful ending, not coming back, death not coming back, and stress. But not remember the two cups that's in front of you. So this is, this could be a loss of a person.
and my mom's a Leo, and there's some things going on in my family right now, so this could resonate. This could resonate with my mom. This could resonate with Leo's, because this card represent this represents loss, point period blank, and there's no coming back from it. And this is stress thinking about the stuff that you lost. That's why your cups is spilled empty because your emotions are all over the place. So for my Leos, I, I think you should pray and talk to God. Universe, spirit, God, holy angels. And my mom's sister right now um, is in hospice. Recovery. Recovery came out. So that's what I'm telling you. This me represent loss. It could be sickness, but this is permanent. This is not no coming back. And this distress and recovery. Maybe somebody recovering um, from something, or maybe recovering from the pain. I'm not sure, but this injury, and, and I hope for the best.